Hello, my name is Alex Clark, Operator Training for Finning UK and Ireland. And what we're going to do is have a look at some of the built-in features in this next generation 308 CAT hydraulic excavator. So, first of all, if we tap into the menu screen, machine settings, auto engine control, and we're going to make sure that that is enabled. During periods of inactivity, the engine will throttle down um, and save us some fuel. Secondly, the shortcuts at the bottom, I'll just explain those. We have the quick hitch or quick coupler, cruise control if we're using stick steer, we have the sound for our grade system and our warning systems, e-fence and our work tool. So I'm going to tap on work tool and make sure that we've got the correct work tool selected. And then back into our menu, I'm going to go onto the ease of use. So indicate, grade indicate is a indicate only system, a basic grade system. So we can select our benchmark, add offsets above or below ground, and we can also add slopes. So indicate enabled, that's turned on. So you can see the light bars at the moment, that's my current bench setting. So that's my desired level. If I tap on the logo on the screen and add in 200 millimeters, we'll leave that above ground. You can now see that we are below our desired level. So if I bring the bucket up slightly, the light bars are indicating still a little bit low. Now I'm on the desired grade. So this system won't stop the bucket going below the desired level. You still need to ensure that you look at the screen to make sure that you can follow your desired grade level. Also in this system, if I tap on target slope, I've got the ability to be able to add slopes that are falling away from me or coming down back towards me. And you can see there, we've got the target slope of 30 degrees and we've got an offset of 200 mil. And to bench is simply push the front button on the joystick and I've now set that bench back to zero. It, then we'll move on to the e-fence, which is a hard stop. So if I raise my boom to the position, I'll go on my ceiling, set the ceiling height, and now the machine will not let me go above that point. It physically stops me from going above that point until I disable the ceiling. Also in that system, we've got wall, which allows us to restrict how far we can reach away from the machine. We've got the floor, which is a hard stop to prevent damaging underground surfaces, for examples. And we've got the e-fence swing. So we've got left and right e-fence. In this occasion, I'll set the right e-fence. You can see there it's turned on, my exclusion zone is turned on minus 31 degrees to the right, so that will prevent me swinging to the right-hand side. The e-fence system also knows where your swing post is, so it will, also, it will stop you from swinging on your main slew circuit past that set point. If you swing round and offset your swing post, it, it also accounts for that as well. So we disable all. And then lastly, in the ease of use menu, ease of use, we can go on bucket assist. If I enable bucket assist, what that will do is it will maintain the bucket angle throughout my working cycle. So I've still got to control the boom and the stick, but it will maintain my bucket angle. So if I'm bringing material in with a flat level bucket, all I've got to focus on is my stick and my boom I haven't got to input any control on the bucket. And then lastly, I have the return to trench or swing assist. Similar to e-fence, although the swing assist will not hard stop, it will allow you to swing through that zone. So if I go into swing assist, swing assist left and turn that on. Each time I excavate material out of a trench, for example, 
Move my material to the right hand side. When I swing back, that return to trench feature will stop at the same point every time. Lastly, we'll take you through the power modes. So if I push and hold the throttle dial in the machine, I'm currently in power mode. I now have smart mode at the top of the screen and push again, I'm now back in full power. I hope you find this information useful and always consult your operation and maintenance manual for further information surrounding the screen or the machine.